Secretary Austin, today is directed that the aircraft carrier USS Ronald Reagan and the ships in her strike group will remain on station in the general area to monitor the situation. We will conduct standard air and maritime transits through the Taiwan Strait in the next few weeks, consistent again with our long-standing approach to defending freedom of the seas and international law. And we will take further steps to demonstrate our commitment to the security of our allies in the region, and that includes Japan. Beijing's actions are of concern to Taiwan, to us, to partners around the world. You probably saw the G7 yesterday rejected Beijing's attempt to coerce and intimidate Taiwan, which is a leading democracy. The nations of ASEAN also released a statement overnight about the importance of de-escalating tensions in the Taiwan Strait. And today, the Japanese government reported that five PRC missiles landed in their exclusive economic zone, noting their grave concern, another example of how China's actions are undermining peace and security in the region. And we're going to continue to communicate, communicate closely with our partners around the world, which we have demonstrated over and over again is a strength of this administration. Beijing's provocative actions are a significant escalation in its long-standing attempt to change the status quo. The United States will be resolute, but also steady and responsible. We do not believe it is in our interest, Taiwan's interest, the region's interest, to allow tensions to escalate further.